<laughs> Bruh, I be looking crazy as hell, man. This mom life, <laughs> dog. Jit get the best of me. <laughs> what? I be really legit having to make myself look like something. This is crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm looking crazy. Welcome on back, guys. It's your favorite dreadhead. Nah, I'm not, I'm not. It's your favorite around the way girl, naturally Candace. And today I am going to be doing my two month lock update. I have officially been locked for two months and I decided to go ahead and do my um, morning routine, how I refresh my hair first things in the morning when I wake up. It's a very simple routine, which is why I decided to put the two month update and the morning routine all together instead of splitting it up into two separate videos because it's literally two steps, maybe three steps at the most if I'm really trying to make it long. So yes, I decided to put my two month lock update and my morning routine together and just make it all one video. So let's just get right into the update. So I have officially been locked for two months. I made two months on the 24th of July. This video is a little bit late. It is the 30th of July, but you know, schedules and stuff. Um, I am three weeks out from my first retwist. If you guys didn't see that video, I will link it in the description box. I did my first wash and retwist. I did do it myself. I like to think that it came out pretty damn good. Like, I did a really, really good job. Um, did I like the results? Eh. Not so much. I like it when my roots and stuff are super frizzy like this. I don't like it when it's really defined and you can see the parts and the twist and stuff. So kind of bias on the retwist at the current moment. I knew it was time for me to retwist my hair because it was kind of getting like matted together. The hair was like growing together. It was like super, super frizzy. So I just was like, okay, let me go ahead and retwist because I don't want it to start budding together. And then I'm kind of free forming and it's kind of all over the place. So yeah, I um, made it seven seven and a half, almost eight weeks before my first retwist. And I probably could have stretched it longer if I would have wrapped my hair at night, but I don't have time for that. <laughs> so yeah, it was seven and a half weeks before my actual first retwist. And this is three weeks from me retwisting my hair. So first things first, let me do a full 360 so you guys can see where I'm at on my lock journey. And then I will talk about some of the stuff that has been happening with my hair. So let me just take it down. Have you guys seen that girl? Oh, I can't even think of her name, but she does like her own music. Like she went like viral from singing her own songs from getting copyright strikes. And she was doing like the oh, 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 O'Reilly. <laughs> Yo, that shit took me out, but okay. So anyways, that's just a random thought. I was thinking cause you know, I was kind of singing there for a second, but yeah, whatever. So let me get into a 360 of my hair. Um, I probably should wet it first, but I'm just gonna show you guys, you know, real quick what it's looking like. all over and let me get it to the front so you guys can see it you know middle part the middle the sides definitely check out like all of that new growth coming check out the sides Check out this side. Let's get into the back. Well, to the crown, to the middle for you guys. The back. Yeah. Yeah. So 
The biggest thing that has recently happened with my hair, I did interlock these two. Um, I did do a video last week about my first time interlocking these two locks and it's because of how they were growing and the hair and um, I didn't want them to snap off because these are like my struggle sides with my postpartum shedding and um, the side where I ripped a box sprayed from. So that is the biggest thing that has changed from month one to month two. I did interlock these two and ever since I interlocked them, honestly, they look and feel so much better. They are so much healthier and stronger. Like. I legit was thinking about like interlocking all of my head, but I'm still on the fence about it, but I love how these two came out with the interlock. I just feel so much better. They had looked so bad, like the hair was kind of growing and the lock was just, you know, barely hanging on. So um, yeah, I've really been on the fence about kind of interlocking, especially the front of my hair. So um, something else that I've noticed is the back of my hair is doing wonderful. Like as far as frizz, like it's kind of frizzy, but it's to be expected. Um, but as far as budding goes, I have a lot of budding going on in the back locks. Let me see if I can show you guys like this is one here like this one just feels and looks so pretty to me like this one little budding going on a lot of these in the back are like budding and they are doing absolutely like wonderful they feel so strong i don't know like see this one here i have budding going on even my ones in the back these the bottom row in the back of my hair is where I'm definitely thinking about interlocking I'm not sure if it's because I sweat or um, I do a lot of swimming so they get wet but I think that I'm definitely going to interlock this back row here because they keep coming undone at the root like the bottom of the lock or the twist is always secure and then the root is like always coming undone which is what was happening to these two so i definitely think that i am going to interlock this back row here so yeah let me show you the back row here like this one is definitely budding i don't know if you guys can see but definitely budding good and then like this one definitely budding good and then we have this one here that I just had to retwist because it was like coming undone but I think I am going to interlock these just to keep them secure but I am in love with the back of my hair it um it feels good like the roots are intact the actual shaft of the lock is intact and like I said I have a lot of budding going on I know a lot of people was like oh it takes months but a lot of mine in the back are starting to bud and really starting to form so I am really really liking that now let's get into the front <laughs> Let, let's just get into the front so the front of my hair I don't understand I don't know if it's because I do a lot to the front of my hair like pulling it up in a ponytail or twisting it or putting two buns but the back of my hair is way more secure than the front I feel like the front of my hair the new growth and the frizziness is at an all-time high it's like from literally split my hair in half the back is doing so good and then the front is just like a new growth puffy not even a mess but it's just not doing what the back is doing as you can see like i have a lot of frizziness and new growth going on there so it just feels different from the locks in the back 
So it's, it probably is coming from me styling the front and moving them around and doing a lot, but I do have budding going on here. As you can see, I have budding going on at the front as well. If you guys can see that, oh, go ahead. But yeah, I just have a lot of new growth in the front. So, I mean, I guess that's to be expected. But yeah, so I just feel like the back has a nice formation to it and the front is kind of just all over the place. <laughs> it's not even really, um, it's not even really the entire front. It's kind of just this section right here. I have a lot of, let me get the camera up, just a lot of new growth there right there in that section. I mean, I'm loving it. I love, don't get me wrong, I love how my hair looks. I love how my locks look. I just feel like the back is doing a more uniformed job right now. But again, that could be my fault because I do a lot to the front, flipping it, styling it, so that it's probably why um, I have a lot of frizz and stuff going on at the front. So when I originally retwisted my hair, I twisted it with this deep part. I twisted my hair going this way and then I kind of got tired of it. So of course I wanted it to go this way. So I feel like this is why like this lock here has so much new growth that needs to be retwisted. Am I going to retwist my hair anytime soon? Absolutely not. I'm going to try to wait again um, to the seven, eight week mark just because I'm not trying to retwist my hair too often. And I believe when I do my second retwist, that's when I'll decide if I'm going to interlock any of them. If I do interlock, I'm not going to do my entire head. I'll do the back row and I'll probably do some of the ones up here in the front just to help um, with the new growth so that the hair is kind of growing together with the lock. But I definitely... Um, don't think I would sit and do every one, especially because the ones in the back seem to be doing so good on there. So I was watching some lock, um, starter lock videos, and I think that I have hair um, that grows away from the lock. I think that's what they call it. I'm not sure. I, I want to do more research on it before I put that out to you guys, but um, I think that my hair grows away from my lock, if that is correct. As you can see, it's not like growing with it. The hair isn't growing with it. It's kind of like growing away. And for that reason is, that would be the reason why I would interlock some of them to help my hair kind of stay together and bud together. Um, some concerns that I've had going into this second month, I have experienced more um, itchy scalp this time coming around, but I think that comes from the shampoo that I use. I use that Dr. Bronner shampoo and that shampoo like strips your hair completely clean and I didn't use a conditioner. So I think that the itchy scalp kind of came from the shampoo. Um, something else that I noticed this month, I've been having a lot of like lint and fuzzies in my hair. I'm not sure why or where the lint is coming from, maybe from shirts and stuff, but I sleep on a satin pillowcase, but I have been noticing like lint and fuzzies, like almost, I was like, is that dirt in my hair? But yeah, like lint and fuzzies in my hair and, um... Another concern, I think that's really it. I mean, still fresh into my journey, so don't have a lot of concerns and hiccups going on just yet. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my second month lock update. I have a lot of budding going on. I got a lot of new growth going, new growth <laughs> going on. But other than that, we're we pretty good. We still on a, a healthy path, a, a good journey here. 
But um, really quick, I'm going to show you my morning routine. This is actually my morning routine is the only thing that I'm doing to my locks. At nighttime, I don't do anything to my hair except go to sleep on it. So literally the morning time routine is the only thing that I do to my hair and once a week I try to go in and oil my scalp. Well, I actually have AJ oil my scalp and kind of massage it, but this is the only thing that I do to it. I don't do anything else to it. So I'm going to show you really quick what I do. So in the morning after I wake up, brush my teeth, you know, wash my face, do all of that, I take my spray bottle and um, this is rose water. I actually made my own rose water and I've been using it for a couple of days now. But before I was using the rose water, I was just using regular water to spray my hair down. So I just spray my locks down with rose water. And I am heavy handed, so I make sure to really do a good job of watering my babies. Getting them good and moisturized. And I even, you know, flip my hair over to do the ends. And then once I wet them down, wake them up, <laughs> I grab my oil. This is just, you know, my oil mixture. I actually added a lot more grapeseed oil in here. Um, grapeseed is really, really good. A um, lot of benefits for your hair. And I just grab a few drops, put it on my hands, and I just work the oil on the outside of my hair I hate showing my armpits on camera they just look so weird to me I don't like the way they look <laughs> but just go through And I just apply the oil, you know, directly to the shaft of the locks. Now, for the days that I was experiencing some itchy scalp, I would take my tea tree oil and I would take a few drops of the tea tree oil, put it in my hand, and I would put it on the tips of my fingers and go in and gently massage the tea tree oil right onto the scalp. Oof, I love like that tingle and fresh pepperminty, minty <laughs> feel. Yeah. So yeah. And that's it. That's <laughs> my morning routine. So yeah, that's my morning routine. Some mornings I'll do the tea tree oil and some mornings I won't. On on. So on the mornings that I don't do the tea tree oil, I'll put a little bit of that oil on my scalp, but I go through and oil my scalp once a week, like I said, or I'll have AJ do it. So I try not to put too much oil on my scalp to like clog up my pores. So when I do my morning routine, I'm trying to make sure that that oil is getting like on the shaft of my locks and the ends of my locks. But after that, I just, you know, kind of shake it to wake them up. Hey, girls. What's up? <laughs> you know, just a quick bounce and wake up. And that's literally it. So now that I have woken them up, sprayed them down, now I'll do another 360 view for you so you can see. Let me kind of put the part in it so you guys can see now you can see like it's super super frizzy like i got a lot of frizziness going on i don't know if it's frizziness or frizzy mixed with budding yeah i, I do know it's frizzy mixed with budding so 
I don't mind it though. I know some people might not like that look, but it really doesn't bother me. So let's get into the sides. Sides. In the back for you. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That is my, I was about to say my second, but yeah, my two month lock update, as well as my morning routine. Nothing much has really changed except for the fact that I do have a lot of budding going on. To keep up with my journey on a more day-to-day -day basis, be sure to follow me on Instagram at naturally underscore Candice. Um, any questions or comments don't forget to leave them in the comment section for me but that's pretty much it for today's video um i'm not sure if i have any more lock update videos coming up in the near future besides my three month lock update i was going to do a how to style your starter locks but i don't really style them too much um i do the same basic little styles but if you guys want to see a styling my starter locks video just let me know you guys know i will hook it up for you but thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment like subscribe until our next video see you bye guys <laughs>